help you? I'd like to see the man in charge. He's in here. I want to report a murder. Sit down. Where was this murder committed? San Francisco, last night. Who was murdered? I was. Well, do you want to hear me out or don't you, Captain? I don't have very much time. Your name Biglow? Frank Biglow? That's right. Answer the San Francisco APB. Send it direct to Inspector Bannon at Homicide. Tell him we found Frank Biglow. Go ahead, Mr. Biglow. Well, this involves some other people, Captain. A number of other people. You tell it any way you like. I live in a little town called Banning, out in the desert. It's on the way to Palm Springs. I have a small business there. Paula? Yes, Mr. Bigelow? Get me a copy of Miss Hollister's 48 tax return, will you? Well, you better get the 47, too. Yes, Mr. Bigelow? I don't think we took any depreciation on that new equipment last year. No, we didn't. I remember you said we could include it all this year. Sure, we can. Hey, Frank. Yeah, Gibson Will. Gibson says he wants a financial statement before he can give me my loan. Hello, Kitty. I will. I'm leaving for San Francisco today, but I'll be back in about a week. Take care of it for you then. Where's a scorcher, isn't it? Well, I've seen him worse. Well, have a nice time, Frank. Yeah, thanks, Will. Paula, why don't you come down to the place and let me give you another permanent? Makes your hair so much easier to manage in all this heat. I can't afford it right now. Maybe next month. Yeah, here it is. No, we didn't take him. Well, we can do it this year. You work it out any way you think fit. Have a nice trip, Frank. Sure, Kitty. See you when I get back. Bon voyage. Why don't you come down anyway, Paula? We'll, uh, work out a deal on that permanent. Thanks. Maybe I will. Hello? Oh, hello, Mr. Hawkins. Just a moment. Do you want him to send your ticket over? No, I'll pick it up myself. No, never mind. Mr. Bigelow will pick it up at the station. Bye. I want to go with you, Frank. Paula, I'm just going on a little vacation. You know that. You want to go without me, don't you? I'll be gone just a week. And I suppose you've just made up your mind to take this little vacation at 9 o'clock this morning? No, Paula. I meant to tell you a few days ago. I guess I oh, forgot. Oh, you forgot. Paula, don't be like that. Don't be like what? You just drop a little announcement that you're going away. Not tomorrow or next week or next month, but today. No explanations, nothing. And I'm supposed to swallow the excuse that you need a little vacation. I just want to get away from town for a few days, that's all. Get away all. from this town or get away from me. Oh, Paula, please try to understand. How can you ask me to understand anything like this? No, I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Go to San Francisco, but don't expect me to be waiting for you when you get back. God, Paula, get a grip. Paula, please, come on, turn around, look at me. Come here. Why do you do this to me, Frank? Why can't you be honest with me, as honest as I am with you? Do you have to go? I have to go, Paula. I know what I'm doing. All right, go. Go anywhere you like. You can go to blazes for all I can. Paula? Paula. Yes, I know I'm... I'm being foolish. Come here. Come on, fix your face. We'll go down to Eddie's, have a drink. All right, why not? Hi, Paula. Hi, Eddie. Give us a couple of cold beers, will you? Oh, what a relief. 
This air conditioning feels good. I sure wish we had it in the office. It'd make working a pleasure. Well, if it stays this hot, don't bother going in the rest of the week. I win two races today. How many did you lose? Now, you wouldn't have to ask that. Kind of early for you two, ain't it? Too hot to worry. That's what I'd like to hear. You'll take me with you, won't you? Jesus, again with that? You will, won't you? Or am I crowding you? What do you mean, crowding me? Maybe you do need this week away alone. Maybe we both do. I know what's going on inside of you, Frank. You're just like any other man, only a little more so. You have a feeling of being trapped, hemmed in, and you don't know whether or not you like it. Look, Paula, I'm going to be honest with you. I care too much about you not to be honest with you. I'm as much concerned for your happiness as I am for my own. I know you've had one bad experience, Frank. I know all about it. But you don't know what it can do to two people, Paula. And the woman always gets hurt more than the man. I don't want you to get hurt. More than anything in the world, I don't want you to get hurt. Want to hear some music? All right, Frank. A couple of nickels, Eddie's? Yeah. This won't bother you, will it? No, the next result doesn't come in for half an hour. I thought that by now we'd be married. No, I, I'm not going to crowd you anymore, Frank. Go to San Francisco. I don't like it. But I'm convinced that you must go. I want you to be very sure, Frank. If it's right, and I believe it is, we'll have something really wonderful together. If it isn't, we should both know it as soon as possible. So you see, even if I could stop you, I wouldn't do it now. Thank you. 